Okay, so what we're going to notice is there's a piece of rubber right here. Okay, that little piece of rubber is what you're going to be working to get out. Don't mess around with any of the add on pieces there. And there we have it. Okay, and what this contains is it contains our two mics. So what we're going to do now is we're going to attempt to get that plug out. Okay, so what we've done is we've removed the two mics, okay, and we have the plug and attached them. Now, we're going to make sure that we get this closed a little bit, you know, just so she's nice and safe. All right, we're going to get her put aside, off to the side, so we don't have pieces that we're knocking over and falling down. You might be tempted to take those two out from the holes there, but if you flip it over, you'll notice there's a small slit here. So what I want to do is I want to kind of push them on through till they just literally emerge. Okay, and then we're going to press this one. So it kind of emerges right out there. And there we have it. Once again, we're going to be attaching our we're going to be attaching our red here to our red or blue to our red and our common ground right here will go to both the black. Okay. And one of the things we're going to do is we're going to use our plate here where the mics were sitting behind it here. They were back here. We're going to use that as an exit point for our cord, okay, so it will come out and it'll look like it's natural and it'll be mounted on the side of the camera and we'll have this, okay? It'll allow us to plug in when we get everything mounted here. So what I'm going to just do is so I don't I don't want to cause damage to it, go drill it with a, with a drill or anything like that at all, is I'm going to go into one of these existing holes, okay? And I'm just going to take a screwdriver and just slowly rotate it until it comes free and it's big enough to allow us to put that, thread, kind of thread that little uh, wire through there. Okay, Oop, that was pretty easy. Not bad at all. Okay, let's see how that looks. I want it to be kind of as natural looking as it can be, in which we already know it won't be looking natural. might need to be a little bit bigger so let's see if we can make her just a tiny bit larger so you can see whoop <laughs> So you can see basically what I'm doing is just simply putting my thumb behind here not putting too much pressure on and just rotating. Just sitting here rotating and allowing the Phillips head to go ahead and do its magic there. So that's our main idea to have a pigtail okay, coming out so that we can plug our things in. Now. I'm going to make a uh, small knot here just so that later on I don't have an issue with the wire coming out and don't worry about it fitting because this is where this was in the place where this little knot is gonna go this was there so you can see the thickness of it you can see the knot it'll be fine and that will eliminate you giving a little incidental tug when it's like this on the front of the camera you're moving something around 
and you accidentally unplug it. All right. Okay, so we've just simply cut them free. That'll allow me later on if I end up needing to use one of these, I can still use it. And we have our our plug with our wires. Okay, we're just trying to get another little solder ball here. That's what I'm looking for right there. And there's three. So we've now got our jack. I'll show you here. We now have our jack through our front plate. And we have the two po the two negatives in the center here we have a positive and a positive which goes into the splitter which will be accepted by the camcorder now and from now on we'll be able to use the jack once again I'm not using heat shrink tubing because these wires are so fine I mean you can get an idea here when you see the screwdriver and how fine that wire is and this is a micro driver so I don't want to really try to get in there because it's just going to end up melting something. And remember, there's such a minute amount of voltage that will be moving through these wires. I'm not really worried. But we'll find out together how well it works. And I'm going to bring three of them together. And that's going to give me that. Now, yes, electrical tape is good, but it's a lot thicker, and I don't have a lot of room to work in there, so this will be plugged in and running down through the channel.